Hi everyone. Good evening. So let me share my screen. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about like uh, platform developer one, uh, winter 23, like maintenance exam. Okay. So like we have different, different uh, maintenance exams will be there, right? So today we are discussing about like uh, winter 23, platform developer one maintenance exam. So first of all, we need to log in to the like trial and dollar operation my toilet or then we have to go with the credential and here like maintain credential just hit on this button so now we can able to see all the certification maintenance exams here so now we are going to take about like platform developer one maintenance certification like winter 2023 it's released so marketing and now we are going to platform or builder Yep, here is the platform developer certification maintenance winter 2023. So now open this one. So now we have to go to this one maintain platform developer one certification winter 23. So we have around 15 minutes of time for estimation of time completion of this model. So now you can go to directly like it is the flow and process run. Runtime improvements API version 54. So these are the headings for the paragraphs. Like we have to read all the things. So where like uh, after save the record trigger flow and now run before estimation of the executions. Approval time based workflow and flexible. Okay, so we have to go through all the this document of information. So now we can go to directly questions so we can find out their answers. So now go to challenging. Yep. So like first question should be like field update actions have changed out in AP version 54, which record trigger flow. And do field update and action now execute. So like we have record trigger flow options will be there, right? So let's take keywords. So version 54, right? AP version 54, like after trigger, save flow. Okay, so like we have to, so after trigger, save the record and uh, triggers. Okay, okay. Now execute before save, save and after save the record, trigger close, right? So now go to, is there an option for that? Yep, like before save and after save trigger. Now we have to select this one. So which Apex class is used to determine the version that determines Salesforce, how you are asked. So it's completely. So we need to find out the answer. So it's uh, system dot uh, domain creator. Okay. So now go to again, which model can be used in notification like maybe components instead of uh, and do APIs so like what were the options here windows alert windows confirm run as alert and lightning alert lightning comp okay so this is the answer so now we'll go with fourth one so what determines an all shapes in salesforce or it or should be in salesforce so what was the answer like so shape just copy paste this one like you need to check with the keywords or shapes the shape setup make a sketch okay so now go to answer here so this should be answer like feature settings editions and limited licenses which lightning model component is required to create a model so it should be a lightning model, it should be a body. And how do you call the invocable action from the Apex code? It's completely referenced by invocable action. So now, so these are the answers. Like we'll go with first one. So B, A, and B, C, and C, like A, this, I mean D. So let's try to challenge okay so first challenge has been completed like we can receive 100 points now 
go to second one. Second, like we have two models, right? So one model is complete and second one, I mean, second unit. So now here, like get hands on with topics, assertions like, mm, okay, learning objectives. So the clear and effects assertion. Okay, so like we have some classes, try get methods. So text, I mean, this is the test class, I mean, test data factory. And uh, so with the test data, Okay, so what are the requirements? We'll go directly. Okay. So if you want, haven't uh, completed the get ready for hands on challenge. Okay. So create the Apex class. So first of all, you have to launch our developer action arc. Okay. So what he's saying, like create an Apex class. Okay. So now go to Sorry, okay, anxious. So now go to developer console for creating the Apex class. So developer console here. Just close all open classes. Okay, so what he's saying? So create an Apex class named Text Data Factory. So just copy Text Data Factory and go to here Files New Apex Class name should be Text Data Factory. Okay. So now class has been created. So now go to Text Data Factory. Right. So we have to go to Text Data Factory class. So this is the Text Data Factory. So now just copy all the things you can do like this or just yeah just copy copy now now this all the class will be copied now go to developer console just paste it here so just paste, paste it here so now uh, this class need to be saved just control s okay this class has been saved okay so now go to another step So create an Apex class, uh, data generation test. So just copy this name and create one more class. So just paste it here. Okay. So now class has been created. Now just copy one more class. Yeah, data generation test run. Just copy paste this one, copy. Go to here, just replace. Okay. So after that, what are you saying? Code requirement, sorry, code requirement, okay. So copy paste, this has been done. Replace all system asset methods with the new asset class. Keep in mind that the statements might have more optimal replacement with one-to-one -one match. Okay, so system asset methods with the new asset Apex class. Okay, got it. So not delete the un unneeded code rather than committing out. Okay, make sure classes. Okay, so what he's saying, like we have some. Okay, so what he's saying, like we have some uh, system dot asset methods will be there, right? So here, like system dot asset methods. Say if asset size is greater than zero, we have to display this error message, right? We have to replace this system that asset methods okay instead of this one like we have to provide some other condition i mean other names so other names in a sense what was that so it will be mentioning there okay asset dot asset dot is null asset dot is equal okay asset dot is system that is asset okay so now go to developer console. So now we have to replace some of the things. So now go to test data generation. What was the errors here? 
method does not exist in consistent wire test 17. Okay, so let's see. So first of all, we have to change the here. Data should be like uh, a set, right? So just replace with this system. So a set dot is true. So set dot is true. So if a set dot is true, then should be you need to display this error message okay so now similarly we have to paste it this words copy now here same thing like system dot asset true and this one also system dot asset true and here like uh, are not equals system dot asset is not equals means just remove the system asset dot here dot or not equals so asset dot or not equals so then we have to replace one more place like asset dot or it's equals right just replace this one asset dot or equals so so now try to save this one saving still we are not getting the saving this record like uh, okay so here also System dot asset not equals to zero. So what was the error here again? We need to check that method does not exist. Incorrect signature or equals to integer string. Set line number seventeen. Let's see. Okay. So just let us set that way, and uh, so we like we have some problems. We'll see. Test dot start data. Okay, so let's uh, hide this time being. Just commented this one. We'll see. So instead of going fixing this, just commented it. We'll see. Okay, so now control S. How much time will it take to save? Let's see. So in between, we can open some ways. Just affix classes, fix. What is the class name? It should be okay. So now it got saved. So like we have to create this test data factory and we create a test general generation. So after that, like uh, we uh, we change these methods like asset methods, right? So now here, like we change it to asset dot is true. Asset dot is true is true and not equals when not equals so now the other are equals so now try to uh verify the challenge we'll see what will happen yeah yeah Platform developer on certification mentioned successfully completed. Successfully completed. So this is the way we have to complete the platform developer one winter 23 maintenance exam. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching.